I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to the Geek Group. Today we have an unusual viewer mail. It's one of those where we have somebody actually here in person. So you have to look straight ahead and tell them who you are and what you do. Carl Erickson, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Atomic Optic. Okay, and why are you here? To give you guys a check. This is a totally acceptable reason. <laughs> Plus I wanted to see what it was like. Meet some people. You gotta get the nickel tour. Josh, I'll show you around. Right. Josh gave me a great tour. Did, did he blow something up for you? Not yet. Okay, I'll blow something up. We do explosions well. Awesome. So Atomic Object, what do they do? We're a software design and development consultancy. We build web, mobile, and embedded applications for companies ranging from the Fortune 500 down to startups and everybody in between. Cool. And you guys have a long history of supporting various local organizations that are particularly involved in science, making, engineering, things like that. We do. I was a professor at Grand Valley before I started Atomic, and uh, that's a connection that comes easy and natural to me. Uh, we started BitCamp about uh, six, seven years ago. It's a uh, program for uh, middle school girls learn about software development and all the design and development opportunities that are there. Cool. And uh, we've supported various groups over the years and that sort of area. Well, that is awesome, sir. And do you have a check for us? Uh, no. No? They mailed the check. They mailed the check? <laughs> they sent you for a check presentation? They didn't give you a check. Mm. Give me your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> well, Atomic Object is making a sizable donation to the Geek Group. Is there a specific thing this is for? Like, this, this is a is, specific this program? Is for the, um, the, the annual sponsorship levels. Oh, so it's a big thing. Program. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. We appreciate your help. You're welcome. And now we will blow something up for you. Awesome. Okay, because we like fun. But I have to do like a legit viewer mail thing while we're here. Okay. Because they didn't let you bring the chat. Okay. It's okay, they don't let me play with stuff like that. I understand. What kind of a professor were you? Like, what did you teach? Computer science. Yeah? When? When did you, when did you leave here in bed? Um, 2000. So 91 to 2000. Thank you. Deeply. For something totally different. I'm Chris Bowden. Chris? In 1994, 95, 96, that era, um, whenever you would do upgrades, do you remember how they used to put the old computers out by the back end of Manitou? Sure, yeah. I was the guy that would pick up all those computers and haul them back to Lake 4, where we would overhaul them and take like three crappy computers and make one decent one, and that is the very beginning days oh, of the Geek Group. That's, that's where that's we started. Cool. So. Yeah. You were you helped a lot. I was the I had no idea. Yeah, That's it was right. a million years ago, but I was the weirdo kid that would like pull stuff out of there. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So it's come full circle. Um, this is this has nobody's name on it at all. I have no idea what it is. This is where we check and see if it's hate mail or grossly inappropriate, because that never happens. Oh no, this is cool. Ooh, this looks like fun. This is It's ultrasound gel. We got an ultrasound machine donated. With the help of Old Geek. Huh? Yes. So thank you, Old Geek. We have ultrasound gel. Want to see if you're pregnant? Could be a hoot. So <laughs> that's <laughs> your mail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, it did go up. So now we have Aquasonic 100 ultrasound transmission gel. Ooh, it's exciting. Don't eat it. It is completely and totally nothing. It is colorless, odorless, clear goop. It's even more benign than KY. It's a couple of acoustic sound energy, I guess. It wouldn't surprise me if this really was just rebrand. It actually, oh my god! The label on this is in everything you would expect with, you know, English, Spanish, da da da. It's also in Greek. Indeed. That's one you don't see very often. And finish. And finish, because you need that for finish ultrasound. I have poop. So would you like an explosion today? I do. Follow me. Let's go blow some stuff okay. up. You guys have fun. We'll be back. You can follow us live in the high voltage lab in mere moments. I'm sure Ed would be happy to switch it over.
this is what we do for easy fun and entertainment in a high voltage lab. This is by day an impulse generator that is used for research, experimentation, and demonstration, so just all kinds of fun with physics. But for showing off and playing and giving people a taste of physics, um, we basically just put a big piece of paper on there. Now, this is a capacitor array of uh, 160 capacitors. Each one is 450 volts of 2,000 microfarads. We run in series strings of four for 1,800 volts and parallel rows of five per shelf, so it's 20 caps per shelf. Down on the bottom is a very simple power supply and interrupter circuit. This comes out through here. These are the main outputs. For now, this is getting upgraded. And God's own switch. What's there to hurt you, Bucky? 80 kilograms. <laughs> AC 100 volts, 80,000 amps, DC impulse, so the math is really simple. Volts times X versus watts. It's 144 megawatts. So for about three thousandths of a second, there's more energy going through there than every building in the entire city of Grand Rapids combined. It's pretty awesome. We're building the new Tesla plug. This is the power side. 